In physics, mathematics, and related fields, a wave is a disturbance of a field in which a physical attribute oscillates repeatedly at each point or propagates from each point to neighboring points, or seems to move through space. The waves most commonly studied in physics are mechanical and electromagnetic. A mechanical wave is a local deformation strain in some physical medium that propagates from particle to particle by creating local stresses that cause strain in neighboring particles too. For example, sound waves in air are variations of the local pressure that propagate by collisions between gas molecules. Other examples of mechanical waves are seismic waves, gravity waves, vortices, and shock waves. An electromagnetic wave consists of a combination of variable electric and magnetic fields, that propagates through space according to Maxwell's equations. Electromagnetic waves can travel through suitable dielectric media or through vacuum. Examples include radio waves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, X rays, and gamma rays. Other types of waves include gravitational waves, which are disturbances in a gravitational field that propagate according to general relativity, heat diffusion waves, plasma waves, that combine mechanical deformations and electromagnetic fields, reaction diffusion waves, such as in the belousov jabotinsky reaction, and many more. Mechanical and electromagnetic waves may often seem to travel through space, but while they can carry energy, momentum, and information through matter or empty space, they may do that without transferring any mass. In mathematics and electronics waves are studied as signals. On the other hand, some waves do not appear to move at all, like standing waves which are fundamental to music, and hydraulic jumps. Some, like the probability waves of quantum mechanics, may be completely static. A physical wave is almost always confined to some finite region of space, called its domain. For example, the seismic waves generated by earthquakes are significant only in the interior and surface of the planet, so they can be ignored outside it. However, waves with infinite domain, that extend over the whole space, are commonly studied in mathematics, and are very valuable tools for understanding physical waves in finite domains. A plane wave seems to travel in a definite direction, and has constant value over any plane perpendicular to that direction. Mathematically, the simplest waves are the sinusoidal ones. Complicated waves can often be described as the sum of many sinusoidal plane waves. A plane wave can be transverse, if its effect at each point is described by a vector that is perpendicular to the direction of propagation or energy transfer, or longitudinal, if the describing vectors are parallel to the direction of energy propagation. While mechanical waves can be both transverse and longitudinal, electromagnetic waves are transverse in free space. Mathematical description Single waves A wave can be described just like a field, namely as a function f x t display style f x t where x display style x is a position and t display style t is a time. The value of x Display style x is a point of space, specifically in the region where the wave is defined. In mathematical terms, it is usually a vector in the Cartesian three-dimensional space R three. Display style math bound R caret three. However, in many cases, own can ignore one or two dimensions and let x display style x be a point of the cartesian plane 
R two Display style math bound R carrot two. This is the case, for example, when studying vibrations of a drum skin. One may even restrict x display style x to a point of the Cartesian line r two display style math bound r caret two. That is the set of real numbers. This is the case, for example, when studying vibrations in a violin string or recorder. The time t on the other hand, is always assumed to be a scalar, that is, a real number. The value of f x t can be any physical quantity of interest assigned to the point x display style x that may vary with time for example if f display style f represents the vibrations inside an elastic solid the value of f x t Display style f x t is usually a vector that gives the current displacement from x display style x are the material particles that would be at the point x display style x in the absence of vibration. For an electromagnetic wave, the value of f display style f can be the electric field vector e display style e or the magnetic field vector h display style h or any related quantity such as the pointing vector e times h display style e times h in fluid dynamics the value of F x t display style f x t could be the velocity vector of the fluid at the point x display style x or any scalar property like pressure, temperature, or density. In a chemical reaction, f x t display style f x t could be the concentration of some substance in the neighborhood of point x display style x of the reaction medium for any dimension d display style d 1 2 or 3 the wave's domain is then a subset d display style d R D display style math bound R carrot D such that the function value f x t display style f x t is defined for any point x display style x in D display style D for example, when describing the motion of a drum skin, one can consider d display style d to be a disc circle on the plane r two display style math bound r caret two with center at the origin zero zero display style zero zero and let f x t display style f x t be the vertical displacement of the skin at the point x display style x of d display style d and at time t display style t
Topic: <laughs> Wave families. Sometimes one is interested in a single specific wave, like how the Earth vibrated after the 1929 Murchison earthquake. More often, however, one needs to understand large set of possible waves, like all the ways that a drum skin can vibrate after being struck once with a drum stick, or all the possible radar echoes one could get from an airplane that may be approaching an airport. In some of those situations, one may describe such a family of waves by a function f a v x t displaystyle f a v l dots x t that depends on certain parameters a v displaystyle a v l dots besides x display style x and t display style t then one can obtain different waves that is different functions of x display style x and t display style t by choosing different values for those parameters for example, the sound pressure inside a recorder that is playing a pure note is typically a standing wave that can be written as f a l n c x t equals a cos two pi x. 2 n minus 1 4 l cos 2 pi c t 2 n minus 1 4 l Display style f a l n c x t equals a cos two pi x frac two n minus one four l cos two pi court frac two n minus one four l. The parameter a display style a defines the amplitude of the wave, that is, the maximum sound pressure in the bore, which is related to the loudness of the note c. Display style c is the speed of sound l. Display style l is the length of the bore and n. Display style n is a positive integer one, two, three that specifies the number of nodes in the standing wave. The position x. Display style x should be measured from the mouthpiece and the time t display style t from any moment at which the pressure at the mouthpiece is maximum the quantity lambda equals 4 l 2 n minus 1 Display style lambda equals 4l 2n minus 1 is the wavelength of the emitted note and f equals c lambda display style f equals c lambda is its frequency. Many general properties of these waves can be inferred from this general equation without choosing specific values for the parameters. As another example, it may be that the vibrations of a drum skin after a single strike depend only on the distance r display style r from the center of the skin to the strike point and on the strength s display style s of the strike. Then the vibration for all possible strikes can be described by a function f R S 
x t display style f r s x t sometimes the family of waves of interest has infinitely many parameters for example, one may want to describe what happens to the temperature in a metal bar when it is initially heated at various temperatures at different points along its length, and then allowed to cool by itself in vacuum. In that case, instead of a scalar or vector, the parameter would have to be a function h h such that h x Display style h x is the initial temperature at each point x. Display style x of the bar. Then the temperatures at later times can be expressed by a function f. Display style f. That depends on the function h. Display style h. That is a functional operator, so that the temperature at a later time is f h x t display style f h x t. Topic: Differential wave equations. Another way to describe and study a family of waves is to give a mathematical equation that, instead of explicitly giving the value of f x t, f x t only constrains how those values can change with time. Then the family of waves in question consists of all functions f f that satisfy those constraints that is all solutions of the equation this approach is extremely important in physics because the constraints usually are a consequence of the physical processes that cause the wave to evolve for example if f x t display style f x t is the temperature inside a block of some homogeneous and isotropic solid material, its evolution is constrained by the partial differential equation F T X T equals alpha two F X one two X T plus 2 f x 2 2 x t plus 2 f x 3 2 x t plus beta Q x t display style frac partial f partial t x t equals alpha left frac partial caret two f partial x underscore one caret two x t plus frac partial caret two f partial x underscore two caret two x t plus frac partial caret two f partial x underscore three caret two x t right plus beta q x t where Q P F display style Q P F is the heat that is being generated per unit of volume and time in the neighborhood of X display style X at time T display style T. For example, by chemical reactions happening there X one x two x three display style x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three are the Cartesian coordinates of the point x display style x f 
T display style partial F partial T is the first derivative of F display style F with respect to T display style T and 2 F X I 2 display style partial carrot 2 F partial X underscore I carrot 2 is the second derivative of F display style F relative to X I display style X underscore I the symbol display style partial is meant to signify that in the derivative with respect to some variable all other variables must be considered fixed this equation can be derived from the laws of physics that govern the diffusion of heat in solid media for that reason it is called the heat equation in mathematics even though it applies to many other physical quantities besides temperatures for another example, we can describe all possible sounds echoing within a container of gas by a function f x t display style f x t that gives the pressure at a point x display style x and time t display style t within that container if the gas was initially at uniform temperature and composition the evolution of f display style f is constrained by the formula 2 f t 2 x t equals alpha 2 F x one two x t plus two F x two two x t plus two F x three Two x t plus beta p x t display style frac partial carrot two f partial t carrot two x t equals alpha left frac partial carrot two f partial x underscore one carrot two x t plus frac partial carrot two f partial x underscore two carrot two x t plus frac partial carrot two f partial x underscore three carrot two x t right plus beta p x t here p x t display style p x t is some extra compression force that is being applied to the gas near x display style x by some external process such as a loudspeaker or piston right next to p display style p this same differential equation describes the behavior of mechanical vibrations and electromagnetic fields in a homogeneous isotropic non-conducting solid. Note that this equation differs from that of heat flow only in that the left-hand side is 2 f t 2 display style partial caret 2 f partial t caret 2 the second derivative of with respect to time rather than the first derivative f t display style partial f partial t yet this small change makes a huge difference on the set of solutions f display style f this differential equation is called the 
wave equation in mathematics, even though it describes only one very special kind of waves. <laughs> wave in elastic medium Consider a traveling transverse wave which may be a pulse on a string the medium. Consider the string to have a single spatial dimension. Consider this wave as traveling in the x display style x direction in space. For example, let the positive x display style x direction be to the right and the negative x display style x direction be to the left with constant amplitude u display style u with constant velocity v display style v where v display style v is independent of wavelength no dispersion independent of amplitude linear media not nonlinear with constant waveform or shape this wave can then be described by the two dimensional functions u x t equals f x minus v t Display style u x t equals f x v t waveform f display style f traveling to the right u x t equals g x plus v t Display style u x t equals g x plus v t waveform g display style g traveling to the left or more generally by d'Alembert's formula u x t equals f x minus v t plus g x plus v t display style u x t equals f x vermont plus g x plus v t representing two component waveforms f display style f and g display style g traveling through the medium in opposite directions. A generalized representation of this wave can be obtained as the partial differential equation 1 v 2 2 u t 2 equals 2 u x 2 Display style frac one v carrot two frac partial carrot two u partial t carrot two equals frac partial carrot two u partial x carrot two. General solutions are based upon Demel's principle. Topic wave forms. The form or shape of f in d'Alembert's formula involves the argument x minus Vermont. Constant values of this argument correspond to constant values of f, and these constant values occur if x increases at the same rate that Vermont increases. That is, the wave shaped like the function f will move in the positive x direction at velocity v and g will propagate at the same speed in the negative x direction. In the case of a periodic function f with period lambda, that is, f x plus lambda minus Vermont. 
equals f x minus Vermont. The periodicity of f in space means that a snapshot of the wave at a given time t finds the wave varying periodically in space with period lambda, the wavelength of the wave. In a similar fashion, this periodicity of f implies a periodicity in time as well. f x minus v t plus t equals f x minus Vermont, provided Vermont. Topic lambda. So an observation of the wave at a fixed location x finds the wave undulating periodically in time with period t. Lambda v. Topic amplitude and modulation. The amplitude of a wave may be constant, in which case the wave is a C, W, or continuous wave, or may be modulated so as to vary with time and or position. The outline of the variation in amplitude is called the envelope of the wave. Mathematically, the modulated wave can be written in the form U X T equals a x t sin k x minus omega t plus phi display style u x t equals a x t sin k x omega t plus phi where a x T display style axt is the amplitude envelope of the wave k display style k is the wave number and phi display style phi is the phase. If the group velocity v g display style v underscore g C below is wavelength independent. This equation can be simplified as U X T equals A X minus V G T sin K X minus Omega T plus phi display style u x t equals a x v underscore g t sin k x omega t plus phi, showing that the envelope moves with the group velocity and retains its shape. Otherwise, in cases where the group velocity varies with wavelength, the pulse shape changes in a manner often described using an envelope equation. Topic: Phase velocity and group velocity. There are two velocities that are associated with waves: the phase velocity and the group velocity. Phase velocity is the rate at which the phase of the wave propagates in space. Any given phase of the wave, for example, the crest, will appear to travel at the phase velocity. The phase velocity is given in terms of the wavelength lambda, lambda, and period t as v p equals lambda t. Display style v underscore mathrm p equals frac lambda t. Group velocity is a property of waves that have a defined envelope, measuring propagation through space, that is, phase velocity are the overall shape of the wave's amplitudes, modulation or envelope of the wave. <laughs> Sine waves Mathematically, the most basic wave is the spatially one-dimensional sine wave, also called harmonic wave or sinusoid, with an amplitude u. Display style u. 
described by the equation u x t equals a sin k x minus omega t plus phi display style u x t equals a sin k x omega t plus phi where a display style a is the maximum amplitude of the wave maximum distance from the highest point of the disturbance in the medium the crest to the equilibrium point during one wave cycle in the illustration to the right this is the maximum vertical distance between the baseline and the wave x display style x is the space coordinate t display style t is the time coordinate k display style k is the wave number omega display style omega is the angular frequency phi display style phi is the phase constant the units of the amplitude depend on the type of wave Transverse mechanical waves, for example, a wave on a string, have an amplitude expressed as a distance, for example, meters. Longitudinal mechanical waves, for example, sound waves, use units of pressure, for example, pascals, and electromagnetic waves, a form of transverse vacuum wave, express the amplitude in terms of its electric field, for example, volt per meter. The wavelengths lambda display style lambda is the distance between two sequential crests or troughs or other equivalent points generally is measured in meters a wave number k display style k the spatial frequency of the wave in radians per unit distance typically per meter can be associated with the wavelength by the relation k equals 2 pi lambda display style k equals frac 2 pi lambda the period t display style t is the time for one complete cycle of an oscillation of a wave the frequency f display style f is the number of periods per unit time per second and is typically measured in hertz denoted as hz these are related by f equals 1 t display style f equals frac 1 t in other words the frequency and period of a wave are reciprocals the angular frequency omega display style omega represents the frequency in radians per second it is related to the frequency or period by omega equals 2 pi f equals 2 pi t Display style omega equals two pi f equals frac two pi t. The wavelength lambda display style lambda of a sinusoidal waveform traveling at constant speed v display style v is given by lambda equals v f display style lambda equals frac v f where v display style v is called the phase speed magnitude of the phase velocity of the wave and f display style f is the wave's frequency wavelength can be a useful concept even if the wave is not periodic in space 
For example, in an ocean wave approaching shore, the incoming wave undulates with a varying local wavelength that depends in part on the depth of the sea floor compared to the wave height. The analysis of the wave can be based upon comparison of the local wavelength with the local water depth, although arbitrary wave shapes will propagate unchanged in lossless linear time invariant systems. In the presence of dispersion, the sine wave is the unique shape that will propagate unchanged but for phase and amplitude, making it easy to analyze. Due to the Kramer's chronic relations, a linear medium with dispersion also exhibits loss, so the sine wave propagating in a dispersive medium is attenuated in certain frequency ranges that depend upon the medium. The sine function is periodic, so the sine wave or sinusoid has a wavelength in space and a period in time. The sinusoid is defined for all times and distances, whereas in physical situations we usually deal with waves that exist for a limited span in space and duration in time. An arbitrary wave shape can be decomposed into an infinite set of sinusoidal waves by the use of Fourier analysis. As a result, the simple case of a single sinusoidal wave can be applied to more general cases. In particular, many media are linear, or nearly so, so the calculation of arbitrary wave behavior can be found by adding up responses to individual sinusoidal waves using the superposition principle to find the solution for a general waveform. When a medium is nonlinear, then the response to complex waves cannot be determined from a sine wave decomposition. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plane waves. Topic: <laughs> 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 Standing waves. A standing wave, also known as a stationary wave, is a wave that remains in a constant position. This phenomenon can occur because the medium is moving in the opposite direction to the wave, or it can arise in a stationary medium as a result of interference between two waves traveling in opposite directions. The sum of two counter-propagating waves of equal amplitude and frequency creates a standing wave. Standing waves commonly arise when a boundary blocks further propagation of the wave, thus causing wave reflection, and therefore introducing a counter-propagating wave. For example, when a violin string is displaced, transverse waves propagate out to where the string is held in place at the bridge and the nut, where the waves are reflected back. At the bridge and nut, the two opposed waves are in antiphase and cancel each other, producing a node. Halfway between two nodes there is an antinode, where the two counter-propagating waves enhance each other maximally. There is no net propagation of energy over time. <laughs> Physical properties Waves exhibit common behaviors under a number of standard situations, for example, topic transmission and media waves normally move in a straight line that is rectilinearly through a transmission medium such media can be classified into one or more of the following categories a bounded medium if it is finite in extent otherwise an unbounded medium a linear medium if the amplitudes of different waves at any particular point in the medium can be added. A uniform medium or homogeneous medium if its physical properties are unchanged at different locations in space. An anisotropic medium if one or more of its physical properties differ in one or more directions. An isotropic medium if its physical properties are the same in all directions. Topic. Absorption Absorption of waves means, if a kind of wave strikes a matter, it will be absorbed by the matter. 
When a wave with that same natural frequency impinges upon an atom, then the electrons of that atom will be set into vibrational motion. If a wave of a given frequency strikes a material with electrons having the same vibrational frequencies, then those electrons will absorb the energy of the wave and transform it into vibrational motion. Reflection When a wave strikes a reflective surface, it changes direction, such that the angle made by the incident wave and line normal to the surface equals the angle made by the reflected wave and the same normal line. Refraction Refraction is the phenomenon of a wave changing its speed. Mathematically, this means that the size of the phase velocity changes. Typically, refraction occurs when a wave passes from one medium into another. The amount by which a wave is refracted by a material is given by the refractive index of the material. The directions of incidence and refraction are related to the refractive indices of the two materials by Snell's law. Topic. Diffraction A wave exhibits diffraction when it encounters an obstacle that bends the wave or when it spreads after emerging from an opening. Diffraction effects are more pronounced when the size of the obstacle or opening is comparable to the wavelength of the wave. Topic. Interference. Waves that encounter each other combine through superposition to create a new wave called an interference pattern. Important interference patterns occur for waves that are in phase. Topic: <laughs> Polarization. The phenomenon of polarization arises when wave motion can occur simultaneously in two orthogonal directions. Transverse waves can be polarized, for instance. When polarization is used as a descriptor without qualification, it usually refers to the special, simple case of linear polarization. A transverse wave is linearly polarized if it oscillates in only one direction or plane. In the case of linear polarization, it is often useful to add the relative orientation of that plane, perpendicular to the direction of travel, in which the oscillation occurs, such as horizontal. For instance, if the plane of polarization is parallel to the ground. Electromagnetic waves propagating in free space, for instance, are transverse, they can be polarized by the use of a polarizing filter. Longitudinal waves, such as sound waves, do not exhibit polarization. For these waves there is only one direction of oscillation, that is, along the direction of travel. <laughs> <laughs> Dispersion A wave undergoes dispersion when either the phase velocity or the group velocity depends on the wave frequency. Dispersion is most easily seen by letting white light pass through a prism, the result of which is to produce the spectrum of colors of the rainbow. Isaac Newton performed experiments with light and prisms, presenting his findings in the Optics that white light consists of several colors and that these colors cannot be decomposed any further. Mechanical waves Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Waves on strings The speed of a transverse wave traveling along a vibrating string v is directly proportional to the square root of the tension of the string t over the linear mass density μ v equals T mu 
Display style V equals SQRT frac T mu where the linear density μ is the mass per unit length of the string. Acoustic waves Acoustic or sound waves travel at speed given by V equals V rho 0 Display style v equals sqrt frac b rho underscore zero, or the square root of the adiabatic bulk modulus divided by the ambient fluid density, c speed of sound. Topic: Water waves. Ripples on the surface of a pond are actually a combination of transverse and longitudinal waves, therefore, the points on the surface follow orbital paths. Sound, a mechanical wave that propagates through gases, liquids, solids and plasmas Inertial waves, which occur in rotating fluids and are restored by the Coriolis effect Ocean surface waves, which are perturbations that propagate through water Topic. Seismic waves Seismic waves are waves of energy that travel through the Earth's layers, and are a result of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, magma movement, large landslides and large man-made explosions that give out low-frequency acoustic energy. Topic. Shock waves. A shock wave is a type of propagating disturbance. When a wave moves faster than the local speed of sound in a fluid, it is a shock wave. Like an ordinary wave, a shock wave carries energy and can propagate through a medium, however, it is characterized by an abrupt, nearly discontinuous change in pressure, temperature and density of the medium. Other. Waves of traffic, that is, propagation of different densities of motor vehicles, and so forth, which can be modeled as kinematic waves Metachronal wave refers to the appearance of a traveling wave produced by coordinated sequential actions. <laughs> <laughs> Electromagnetic waves An electromagnetic wave consists of two waves that are oscillations of the electric and magnetic fields. An electromagnetic wave travels in a direction that is at right angles to the oscillation direction of both fields. In the 19th century, James Clerk Maxwell showed that, in vacuum, the electric and magnetic fields satisfy the wave equation both with speed equal to that of the speed of light. From this emerged the idea that light is an electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves can have different frequencies and thus wavelengths, giving rise to various types of radiation such as radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. <laughs> Quantum mechanical waves Topic: Schrödinger equation. The Schrödinger equation describes the wave-like behavior of particles in quantum mechanics. Solutions of this equation are wave functions, which can be used to describe the probability density of a particle. Topic: Dirac equation. The Dirac equation is a relativistic wave equation detailing electromagnetic interactions. Dirac waves accounted for the fine details of the hydrogen spectrum in a completely rigorous way. The wave equation also implied the existence of a new form of matter, antimatter, previously unsuspected and unobserved and which was experimentally confirmed. 
In the context of quantum field theory, the Dirac equation is reinterpreted to describe quantum fields corresponding to spin minus one half particles. Topic: De Broglie waves. Louis de Broglie postulated that all particles with momentum have a wavelength lambda equals h p display style lambda equals frac h p where h is planck's constant and p is the magnitude of the momentum of the particle this hypothesis was at the basis of quantum mechanics nowadays this wavelength is called the de broglie wavelength for example, the electrons in a court display have a de Broglie wavelength of about 10 13 m. A wave representing such a particle traveling in the k direction is expressed by the wave function as follows psi r t equals 0 equals a e I K R display style psi math bf r t equals zero equals a e caret i math bf k c d o t r, where the wavelength is determined by the wave vector k as lambda equals two pi k. Display style lambda equals frac two pi k, and the momentum by p equals k. Display style math bf p equals h bar math bf k. However, a wave like this with definite wavelength is not localized in space, and so cannot represent a particle localized in space. To localize a particle, de Broglie proposed a superposition of different wavelengths ranging around a central value in a wave packet, a waveform often used in quantum mechanics to describe the wave function of a particle. In a wave packet, the wavelength of the particle is not precise, and the local wavelength deviates on either side of the main wavelength value. In representing the wave function of a localized particle, the wave packet is often taken to have a Gaussian shape and is called a Gaussian wave packet. Gaussian wave packets also are used to analyze water waves. For example, a Gaussian wave function ψ might take the form ψ x t equals zero equals a exp minus x two two sigma two plus i k zero x display style psi x t equals zero equals a exp left frac x caret two two sigma caret two plus x underscore zero x right at some initial time t topic zero where the central wavelength is related to the central wave vector k zero as lambda zero Two pi k zero. It is well known from the theory of Fourier analysis, or from the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in the case of quantum mechanics, that a narrow range of wavelengths is necessary to produce a localized wave packet, and the more localized the envelope, the larger the spread in required wavelengths. The Fourier transform of a Gaussian is itself a Gaussian. Given the Gaussian f x equals e minus x 2 2 sigma 2 display style f x equals e caret x caret 2 2 sigma caret 2 
the Fourier transform is F tilde K equals Sigma E minus Sigma two K two two Display style tilde F K equals Sigma E carrot, Sigma carrot two, K carrot two, two the Gaussian in space therefore is made up of waves F x equals 1 2 pi minus infinity infinity F tilde K e I K x D K display style f x equals frac one sqrt two pi int underscore inf t caret inf t tilde f k e caret i k x d k. That is a number of waves of wavelengths lambda such that k lambda equals two pi. The parameter sigma decides the spatial spread of the Gaussian along the x-axis, while the Fourier transform shows a spread in wave vector k determined by 1 sigma. That is, the smaller the extent in space, the larger the extent in k, and hence in lambda equals 2 pi k equals topic gravity waves. equals gravity waves are waves generated in a fluid medium or at the interface between two media when the force of gravity or buoyancy tries to restore equilibrium a ripple on a pond is one example equals topic gravitational waves equals Gravitational waves also travel through space. The first observation of gravitational waves was announced on the 11th of February 2016. Gravitational waves are disturbances in the curvature of spacetime, predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Topic: See also Index of wave articles Topic Waves in general Topic Parameters Topic Wave forms topic electromagnetic waves topic in fluids topic in quantum mechanics topic in relativity topic other specific types of waves equals 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 related topics <laughs>